Good. It's good to see everybody. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here. Um, it's just been an amazing set of circumstances that have worked out for me to return to the University of Louisville, and uh, it's it's really been fantastic since uh, Coach Petrino and I had a chance to talk, and we made this official. Uh, it's it's been. Um, a great feeling that's come over myself and my family just to be back here and be a part of this program, be back in the state uh, with so many people that that I've had connections with over the years, and um, it, it just feels right. And so I'm very excited to be here. What do you feel like is your primary focus coming back? Well, I think as 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 I get started myself personally, it's it's uh, meshing back with Coach Petrino again. Uh, I've been away for seven years. Um, but, uh, but also I'm excited about that. Uh, the things that he taught me when I was here before have helped me to be a, a better coach. And I'm so excited to be a part of this staff again. Um, there's so many things that, um, that, that Louisville's been able to accomplish. And I know that, that we just barely touched the surface of where we can go. And so I'm so excited to be a part of that process as well. Um, and, and also, you know, whatever I can contribute to what we're doing. Yeah, I think he just wanted to, to try and, and uh, see if we could can be productive and, and can be a part of this. I think having the opportunity to, to be back with him and, and the time that we spent together, we were very successful. And uh, I think that's something that um, we both uh, value in our careers. And so hopefully we can get back to those things and, um, and, and reshape and, and build on this offense that's obviously very good. And uh, we'll do everything we can to try and push it a little bit further down the road, but uh, but a lot of the things that um, that can be done and will be done. This will be a whole new football team with new guys in and new guys out, and um, you know the order of the day is just to start in from scratch and start uh, with our technique and our stances and our starts and see if we can't build something really special. Like what is it like to come into a position when you have a Heisman Trophy guy that your guys will be protecting? It's it's amazing. Uh, I, I tried to think over the years of my career where I would privately complain that I wish we had a good quarterback that I was protecting for or blocking for, and I don't have that excuse anymore. So um, it, it's really exciting, and, and um, just the impact that he's had on this program and on this offense and this football team is far-reaching. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure if, if everyone within the program realizes it, but outside the program, it's uh, his impact has been amazing. and so. Um, obviously, that's motivation for everyone to raise their level of play, to to match what he's done, and to to help him be able to facilitate what he does best. So. I know it's been recent, but have you had a chance to look at what we have coming back and some of the younger guys? We're, we're in that process right now, just trying to get through a lot of this video and and, and uh, evaluate where we are and where we need to go. And uh, certainly, those are. Um, foundational steps that we'll take as we get started and uh, and I'm excited about that part of it as well um, we'll get through the recruiting process on Wednesday and then get our focus and attention going towards that development but um, but a lot of that is is real exciting it's exciting to see what's ahead of us I think that ha that's what happens when when you have a coaching uh, changes and, and, and guys change positions and different things. I think the players now get to start from zero and build their reputation. And interestingly enough, I do too, uh, in their eyes. Uh, we're all evaluating each other. And so um, the, the, the value and, the, and the, I guess the success that I've had in coaching has been because I've been able to build a relationship with the guys that I coach. That trust relationship is uh, something that I value more than anything. Uh, they have to believe what they're being told and, and uh, th that comes from uh, consistently dealing with them and them understanding that I care about them when they get their block and when they don't and uh, that that goes deeper than just performance. And I think at some point whenever we get that, that trust bond going then we can really make progress and so that's, that's kind of the order of the day right now. How those conversations go with Coach Petrino about coming back and the possibility? 
see somebody having to talk somebody into it, or was it just kind of a, a, an agreement? How'd they go? Well, it, like I said to start with, it, the circumstances fall uh, in line to make something like this happen. And I think with any uh, decision that involves your career and your family, there's always concerns about whether it's right or what you're doing is correct or not. And when that calm, satisfied feeling comes over you, like what came over myself and Kathy when we decided to do this, you, we knew it was the right thing to do. Um, to have the opportunity to be back with Coach Petrino, I think he's the best football coach in the country. And, and to be back with him, I understand him. We have a strong relationship where he, he knows my personality, he knows uh, how I uh, handle situations, and I know the same about him. And so that's a built-in uh, benefit for both of us. We, we're excited to work together again. Like, have you changed at all since you've left? I think if you took pictures of me, you would think I have. <laughs> I lost a lot of hair in that. Uh, I think certainly you, with age, you get a different perspective on how your coaching works. I'm not sure that, um, how I deal with players has changed much. I'm, I'm not a holler and scream guy. Um, I, I build what I teach off of trust, and um, I, I would like to consider myself a fundamental teacher, uh, someone that um, can get players to lock arms and pull together and play together because we all believe in a common cause. And, and developing that doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. But that's, that's where my success has been in coaching, is pulling guys together. Um, and so I, I'm excited to start that process. Um, uh, other than that, I, I probably don't, don't chase as far down the field as I used to in, in practice. But uh, some of the guys that were here in the past would see me running a long ways down the field. And I don't probably get quite as far down the field now as a play takes off. But, uh, but other than that, I'm, uh, I'm so energized to be here and so energized to be a part of this program that um, I, I, it's, I've had a lot of excited, sleepless nights just waiting for this to happen. It's just been amazing, and uh, you know, Mr. Jurich has always been someone that I thought was a visionary that that had always taken pushed the limits of this program to what it could be, uh, even back in the the Big East days when when I was here, and just to see um, the building that's going on, just really to to look from outside in at this program and see nationally how respected it is. Um, makes it very attractive, not only for coaches, but for players. Mike, you, you mentioned that things had to line up for you to be able to come back. Obviously, it seems like family plays a big part in that, but, but Coach Klinakos, who coached the offensive line, is still on staff. Did you have to make sure that you guys could, could work together? Was that, was that part of your decision at all? Well, uh, the, the staff will be as cohesive as any staff in the country. Coach Petrino sees to that, and, and uh, Chris and I have had relationship before. We, we know each other, and that will be a non-issue. Yeah. I know you can't mention actual names, but they've, they've off to a hot start on recruiting offensive linemen. Do you like what you see coming in? Do you like the talent that may be out there? I'm, I'm excited for Wednesday, and, and uh, you know, there's obviously been a lot of hard work done, and uh, I was able to get in here on the last couple of weeks of that, and so I'm excited to see all that come to to uh, signing day on Wednesday, and, and that's always been a great time here. All my memories in the past of of uh, signing days and and what we did with the fans and all that kind of stuff was made this a real exciting day. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to Wednesday. Mike, did, you, did you get a sense when you got hired that that was going to be a, a priority in these last few weeks? It was, it was offensive line that it seemed to be from Well, I, I, I don't know of a year that that's not a priority. It seems like linemen are so hard to find these days. And uh, I can remember the days uh, a long, long time ago where you, you didn't really even recruit offensive linemen. You recruited defensive linemen and you moved them over if they couldn't play uh, defense. And, and those days have changed dramatically to the point where I'm not sure that that's not one of the hardest positions to find talented players that um, can do everything that you ask them to do. So I, I think every year that will be a priority and, and I'm really encouraged about what's going to happen on Wednesday. Well, I think uh, there, there's a physical toughness that you have to have when you're a good offense, and certainly that's a big part of the offensive line. Um, they, they have to be the foundation of our football team. Uh, they need to be the position that is the example of how to work hard, uh, of how to 
be dedicated in their off-season commitment. Uh, they have to be the leaders in the weight room. Uh, and, and I think they are the steady rock and, and the driving force of this football team when, when it is the way it should be. And uh, I, I want the rest of this team to be able to stand on the shoulders of our offensive line and feel like they can stand tall and know that we're going to protect them and that we're going to be, be there for everyone on this team. Do you look at much past video? Do you, do you go back and cut up games and stuff, or do you just turn the page and move on? Well, we, we get a fresh start, and, and so I'm excited about that. Uh, certainly, we'll, I'll use um, a lot of the information to, to build uh, – my catalog of, of what I'm dealing with, but uh, but we get to start at zero, and that's good for everyone. We'll we'll start fresh. What, uh, what do you think? Just the ties, I guess, since maybe left UK. What what have you had around here in Kentucky? You guys still have a home or anything like that, or did you did you uh, know your college your father in law still with you? We we've got family here. My daughter is a U of L graduate, and. Uh, she has a four-year-old and an infant that um, I'm not sure that my wife's quit crying since we decided to come here that she's going to get a chance to see them uh, crying with joy that she'll be, be able to be with them and uh, obviously to be able to, to get back and, and be able to see my father-in-law and, and be around him is going to be something that's awesome for us. Uh, but there's so many people. I, I don't think I even realized until we came back um, and the word got out that we were coming back. How many people actually had contact with and ties to in this state? And it just—it's it, overwhelming to me to come back and get reacquainted with uh, the people of Kentucky and, and the people that I've had contact with. And it's—it's uh, it's enhanced. It's—it's it's made this decision feel so right. And uh, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm excited to see all of these guys, and certainly he, he brings a lot of potential to the table. And, and uh, you know, it's hard to comment on a lot of these guys because of, of such um, limited opportunity to be around them. But I'm, I'm excited to get started with that. I think that's going to be something real exciting for all of us to see that, um, see him and what he can contribute to what we have. All right. Great. Good. Thanks, Thanks guys. Go.